Have you ever wondered why so few people live on New Zealand's South Island? New Zealand, an enthralling country in the southwestern Pacific Ocean, is largely made up of two primary islands, the North Island and the South Island, which are accompanied by hundreds of smaller islands. It's a peculiar fact that about 77% of New Zealand's total population has chosen the North Island as their dwelling place. Why is there such a pronounced skew in the distribution, you may ask? It's not just a random occurrence or a simple preference. Rather, it's an amalgamation of historical, geographical, and socioeconomic factors that have led to this intriguing population divide between the two primary islands. The North Island, with its warmer climate and wealth of natural resources, has always been a magnet for settlers from indigenous communities and foreign lands alike. So, what led this population concentration on the North Island Stay tuned as we dive into the depths of this compelling saga of settlement and expansion. But that's not all. Fasten your seatbelts, folks, as the next scene unravels the tale of the Maori settlement and their significant influence on Zealand's population distribution. It's going to be an intriguing journey into the past. You won't want to miss it. The story begins with the Maori, New Zealand's indigenous people. Their journey to Aotearoa, the land of the long white cloud, as they call New Zealand, is a tale steeped in tradition and respect for the elements. The Maori, drawn by the North Island's milder climate and abundant natural resources, found it a more hospitable place to settle. The North Island offered a plethora of fishing opportunities, fertile land for cultivation, and dense forests that provided ample building materials. The Maori established numerous settlements across the North Island, shaping the landscape with their innovative farming practices and intricate carvings. Their respect for the land and the sea is a cornerstone of Maori culture, and that connection to the environment continues to influence their way of life today. The Maori's preference for the North Island set the stage for the island's continued population growth. But the Maori were not the only settlers of New Zealand. European settlers also found the North Island more appealing. This preference was largely due to its climate, which was more conducive for habitation and agricultural activities. The North Island's warmer weather and fertile lands were a magnet for European settlers, who primarily focused on agricultural pursuits. They planted crops and established farms, which over time played a significant role in the island's economic development. The North Island, with its favorable conditions, allowed for a more rapid and extensive development. This development was not just in terms of agriculture, but also in urbanization. Towns grew into cities and infrastructure was built at a pace that far exceeded that of the South Island. This rapid development further attracted more settlers, creating a cycle of growth that the South Island just couldn't match. So while the South Island may have its own unique charms, it simply couldn't compete with the allure of the North Island for these European settlers. But what about the South Island's largest city? Despite the North Island's dominance, the South Island is not without its own metropolitan hub. Christchurch, the most populous city in the South, stands as a testament to the island's urban potential. In contrast, the North Island boasts of vibrant metro areas like Auckland, Wellington, Hamilton, and Taronga. Each city with its distinct character contributes to the cultural and economic fabric of New Zealand. Yet, the story doesn't end here. But New Zealand's realm extends beyond these two islands. New Zealand's realm includes territories such as the Cook Islands, Niue, and the Ross Dependency in Antarctica. These territories maintain a unique relationship with New Zealand. The Cook Islands and Niue are self-governing states in free association, while the Ross Dependency is a sector of Antarctica claimed by New Zealand. This claim underscores New Zealand's commitment to environmental protection and scientific research. So, there you have it. The reasons why so few people live on New Zealand's South Island.